Hey, what is up, internet? It's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video is going to continue your MySQL tutorial series. Now, we are going to be talking about data types for the next few videos. And the ones we are going to start with are the character data types, or string data types. We've discussed char and varchar, and I'm going to discuss those in more detail in this video and the next video. Specifically, we will start with char. So when we have a column in a table, we have to specify the data type. One of the available data types is char, and this is a fixed length data type. And what that means is that every single value for that column is of the same length. And we actually specify that length in parentheses when we declare that column. So something like this. This 50 here refers to characters. Now I'm going to go off topic just a little bit because there's something I wanted to introduce to you. How do we know what kind of characters we are allowed to put in there? Can we use English? Can we use Arabic? Can we use Chinese? So forth. Well, this is determined by the character set of that column. And the character set that this is going to use is known as Unicode, which is one of the most common and most popular character sets. That's because it supports multiple languages. Now, the way this character set is actually interpreted by the computer is called the encoding. And the encoding that is used is known as UTF-8. So when you see UTF-8, think of Unicode character set. Now you don't need to know all of the details of this, I just wanted to introduce you to it so then when you hear it, you're not dumbfounded. <laughs> when a column is a fixed length, that means if you put something in shorter than that length, it's going to pad it with spaces. So something like hello only takes up five characters, but it's going to spat, uh, spat it, but it's going to pad it with 45 spaces. <laughs> you can see that that's a problem. So you only want to use char when the data is fixed length or very close to that length. So for example, if we're going to have data that's always 10 characters long, we could say char 10. And because MySQL knows that every single value is going to be 10 characters, it doesn't have to keep a working knowledge of how long each string is. When we are talking about varchar though, which is the data type we'll talk about in the next video, this is a variable length character string. And what that means is MySQL has to keep track of how long that string is. So it actually takes up more storage. But if for some reason you're not storing 10 characters here, let's say you're only storing seven, that means there's gonna be three characters wasted because seven plus three equals 10. That means char is only going to save you space if you are using the total number of characters. Now, what values are allowed in here? As of this video, the lowest value you can give is actually zero, and the highest is 255. So if you had zero, the only thing that would be allowed is null <laughs> and empty strings. So an empty string is just a string with no data, not any spaces, nothing. 255, where does that number come from? Well, this has to do with binary, which oh, there's a lot of information in this video, so um, I'll try not to overwhelm you with binary now but this is the maximum number for an 8-bit number. So in binary, you could have zeros or ones. So if we have eight ones, this number represents 255. <laughs> Zero, on the other hand, would be this. But the goal of this video is not to teach you binary. I do have other videos over that if you're interested. <laughs> Bless you! Now, like I said, if you put a string in here, that's uh, shorter than 50 characters, it's going to pad it with spaces. But the thing is, when you take that data back out, MySQL is going to strip those spaces. So it doesn't look like it's padded. Now I'm going to introduce you to something known as an SQL mode. And one of those is pad char to full length. <laughs> it's a pretty long name. But you can actually turn this on. And I'm not going to discuss how to do that in this video. If you want to know, you can look it up on the internet. <laughs> but when this is turned on, MySQL is no longer going to strip those spaces out when it's returned. So if you do a select statement on a column of 50 characters and it only has five in there, it'll look something like this. <laughs> and you can see that space. So yeah guys, that's all I have to say about char in this video. In the upcoming video, I'm going to be discussing varchar. So I'll be sure to see you guys then if you go watch that video right now. <laughs> if you like this video, please be sure to click like and subscribe to support my channel. Thanks everyone, I'll see you in the next one.